The Charleston Parks Conservancy is a nonprofit organization and it's committed to enhancing and preserving 25 of Charleston's parks and green spaces. They also have been proactively addressing the litter challenge. And you know what? They want to get you involved. Joining us right now is Devin Andrews, the Director of Partnerships and Engagement for the Charleston Parks Conservancy. Uh, so tell us about, you know, one of the things that my family really enjoyed when we moved here mm -hmm. is the availability of parks and green mm -hmm. space and things to do. Your group makes sure that those are ready for everybody to enjoy. Absolutely, our mission is to connect people to the parks through programs and volunteer opportunities and these horticulture improvements that make these parks so stunning and beautiful. So we see this litter pickup prevention as, um, as a way to make these parks even more um, fantastic. We have 300 litter kits that we'll be giving away thanks to Palmetto Pride um, to let people pick up the parks in their own time or with us in our big group sweeps. So why did you start this? Were people just trashing the parks? Well, I think, sadly, even though Charleston is such an incredibly beautiful place to live, I think along our roadways and waterways and parks, we see, you know, uh, unfortunately, an, an abundance of litter. So we've been joining our partners with these litter pickups for so long we thought let's let's really take action and, and and sort of lead the charge with helping people you know do it on their own time or you know whenever they're they can so this isn't the first time that you've kind of been a part of this what makes this time different though? absolutely well this time um, we'll be not only partnering with some of the amazing groups like keep Charleston beautiful and the South Carolina Aquarium but again um, you know we'll be collecting the data that from these kits that we give away so that we can uh, enter that into the the aquarium's litter journal so that they can use that to inform policy change. All right, now that is kind of unique. It's not just coming and picking up trash. You've got these kits. Explain the kits and the data that you're talking about. What kind of information can you get from just picking up trash? Absolutely. So these kits include litter grabbers, gloves, safety vests, trash bags, and um, as part of that, an impact report where people can count the number, you know, of cigarette butts, of plastic bags, of styrofoam containers, so that the aquarium uses that data that is collected through the litter sweeps to say, okay, we know we've got these organizations, these restaurants, maybe we're seeing a lot more packaging come from them or these stores we know that you know we have a lot of cigarette butts in this area can we add receptacles so that these aren't ultimately ending up in our parks and waterways that, very very interesting now if people would like to participate is there anything they need to do before Hand. Absolutely. So they can visit um, our website, charlestonparksconservancy.org, to um, register for their own free litter kit. They can We can give away up to two per household, and they can join us for our group cleanups, the first of which is this Sunday for the West Ashley Bikeway with Keep Charleston Beautiful. And then we have one on October 2nd of the Angel Oak, the area surrounding the Angel Oak tree with Low Country Land Trust. Okay. And we were talking earlier about uh, young people, maybe mm -hmm. high school students students or uh, kids in middle school and elementary school. It's an opportunity for the whole family really to come out. And kids are looking to pad their resumes for college. This looks very good on your report that you're involved in community service. It sure does. We have been fortunate to partner with many school groups, including one for this Sunday from West Ashley High School, shout out. Um, and we love the opportunity to work with not only high school students, but also we've had, you know, even preschoolers to join us. And they understand why it's so important to keep these areas looking beautiful and, and safe. Devin Andrews, thank you so much for being here with thank us you. and joining us this afternoon. Absolutely. If you are interested in registering for a free kit and participating in the litter sweep at the West Ashley Bikeway, the Greenway, you can find a link to do so on our website and it will be under the big red box on Live 5 News.